Okay, now that all cables are unplugged and the screws are out, let's slide off the panel. Let's grab the handle here, pull out. Okay, we have a bunch of open SATA cable slots, so let's just add this SATA cable into SATA cable slot 2. Okay, now our SATA cable is plugged into the SATA cable slot. Next, we unplug the power and the other SATA cable to the hard drive so we can get to the SSD slot. We need to unscrew that screw. All right, once the screw is unscrewed, we can slide the container out. It comes out pretty easily. Okay, so actually with this Dell machine, you want to put in the SSD upside down so your contact points are pointing out. So when you slide it in, uh, you'll easily be able to put the uh, power and the SATA in. Okay, let's plug in the SATA cable. Snap into there. Let's plug in our other SATA cable for our original hard drive. Okay, those SATA cables are in. Now let's add the power cables. Okay, it seems to work best if we plug the top cable into the SSD and the bottom cable into the hard drive and just let the middle connection stay there. Okay, let's put the case back on and let's start her up. All right, we opened up disk management. Okay, we installed our SSD. So here's our SSD, 931.51 gigabytes, unallocated memory.